Hey, in today's video I will be discussing about the future of cars that we should be expecting to see in 10 to 20 years from now on the public streets. Cars have evolved quite a bit since we started developing internal combustion engines. Design changed, engine changed, aerodynamics changed, technology made things more interesting and we have designed a car for literally any situation. Right now we have bulletproof security vehicles, terrain vehicles, special vehicles, sports cars, supercars which can surpass 450 km per hour and the list goes on. World population is increasing, the number of cars is increasing, energy demand is also increasing, so how will cars look in 20 years from now? In 2010 there were over 1 billion cars which were powered by an internal combustion engine. Estimates are showing that this number will double in 2035. I think I know best how much cars pollute. Working as a MOT tester taught me many and I can clearly approve that cars pollute a lot, especially diesel powered cars. Gasoline engines emit more CO2, diesel engines emit more black smoke and more particle matter. It's true that the average fuel consumption per car has significantly dropped over the past few years and manufacturers are doing their best to downsize engines and make them more fuel efficient, but can we actually do something to replace internal combustion engines? That's the big question. I strongly believe that cars produced after 2030 will have electric power plants. Batteries should be improved, charging methods should be also improved. We should be able to charge our batteries within 15 minutes and drive over 1000 km on one charge. I think most people will find electric vehicles totally drivable if this happens. In terms of features, cars should be able to drive themselves and they should be our personal drivers. We can already control our cars remotely without having to drive them, but these kinds of features are way too expensive for now. We already have cars with tons of mind-boggling features, so I really don't know what to expect in 20 years from now in terms of features. If electric cars will shape our future, and they will at some point, I would like to see engineers how they struggle to lower down the drag coefficient. An average car has a drag coefficient of around 0.30 with a few small variations. Limos can have up to 0.26 and sports cars have around 0.34. The Tesla Model 3 currently has 0.19 and at the moment is the lowest drag coefficient on a production car. In 20 years from now, I would like to see a drag coefficient of 0.15 or even lower. Maybe you don't know how important aerodynamic drag really is, but I'm telling you. 80% of the power of an engine at the car's top speed goes into aerodynamic forces. So if we can lower down the drag coefficient by 50%, we can expect better results in speed, acceleration and fuel efficiency. Energy from the sun is free, so we could do more to obtain green energy, which we could use it later in our future vehicles. At least that should be the ideal case. Oh, and huge thumbs up for Tesla for starting a war on pollution. Volvo recently claimed that they're not investing any more money in diesel engines development. Their main focus is right now on electric vehicles. Volkswagen is also working on releasing over 20 electric models by 2025. Other manufacturers are doing the same thing. Everyone is now focusing on electric vehicles. For entertainment purposes, supercars with internal combustion engines should still exist. They should be more expensive, but they should still exist. I don't know how much pollution can a few thousand cars contribute compared to over 1 billion cars. If I were the CEO of Lamborghini or Ferrari, I would sell a unit to a potential buyer only if he proves that he has planted at least 1000 trees. As much as I love cars, I also love nature, so we should do something to protect it. We are finally heading towards clean energy, even if we could have done this way earlier. But you know what they say, it's better later than never. So these are my thoughts about the future of our cars. If you have any ideas on this subject, be sure to write them down below. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already for more weekly content on cars and how cars work and I'll talk to you guys soon.